it is one o'clock, so why don't we get started? Welcome everyone for the open house. We're starting on the outside so you can see the beautiful brand new door, and then we're gonna walk through each room. If you have specific questions about the room, uh, like wanting to see it from a different angle, or perhaps you know wanting to know what a picture it might look like, please speak up, let us know. If you have more specific questions, like um, you know, are the floors creaky or when's the last time you replace X item? Those are questions that you can also direct my way. Uh, my email address is julie at yoderrealestate.com. Uh, and I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have about that or share the seller disclosure with you as well for specific mechanic type questions and utilities. All right, so why don't we get started? We can walk on in the house. There we go. We can see the beautiful inlay tile, the entryway, and there's a closet there to the left. If you want to show us what how deep that is, if you could give us a, a scoop on that on the closet. Awesome. So lots of storage. Perfect. And then turning around, right, we've got the front door again showing the entryway. Perfect. And then maybe moving um, to the left. Oh, we can see here the hallway to the, sure, let's go that way. We can head out that direction. No, that's perfect. So we've got the first bathroom here on the left. It's been completely remodeled with the nice new flooring, a tile shower tub combo, an extra storage there on the left. Great. And out of curiosity, when did you guys do that bathroom remodel? That was pretty recently, right? Um, yeah, it was probably about a year and a half, two years ago. Okay. Welcome, Whitney. We are doing the open house. Let us know if you have any questions. Sounds good. Thanks. Can you hear me? I can hear you perfectly. Okay. Yeah. I could just couldn't tell if my thing was on mute or not still. So. All right. So then moving to the next bedroom here on the left. Can you, can you say what the bathroom? Sorry, I missed the beginning part because I was trying to find the link. What was the bathroom remodel? The bathroom was remodeled 18 months or two years ago, but new flooring, new tile shower, counters, sinks. Yep. Okay. Thank you. And then the double closet here for that bedroom, again, quite spacious. And then I find this is useful. Can you let us know, is this a queen or a king bed? This is a king bed. A king bed. So that gives you a sense of how large the bedroom actually is. That a king bed, there's a lot of space on either side. Yeah. Yep. Is that the master? Yeah, so. Or what you guys have used as the master? Correct. Yep. Okay. All right. And this is a queen bed in this room. Queen bed, and again, pretty sizable headboard, footboard, and it still fits quite nicely. There's a lot of storage there with the closet. Two closets, yeah. Gorgeously mm -hmm. painted, carpet's in great shape. <laughs> the carpet's only about a year old. Okay. The wood floor in the house is about a year and a half old. Is this a cedar closet? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, just to show that. And there's one more room there. Fabulous. That's nice. Um, large closets. It's a good size kids' room, though. Yeah. And can you show the cubbies at the bottom? Kind of they cool. all roll out because they were in the other room as well. Yeah, perfect. Kind of cool. So again, toy storage or little kiddos yeah, yeah. were waiting to dress themselves. Yeah, cute. Yeah. Very nice, deep closet. Great. All right, so backing into the hallway then, heading straight. We have the combo here. So again, beautifully finished floors. 
That fireplace is pretty. Yeah. Are those original floors? No, these floors are new. They are okay. three quarter. Yeah, it's pretty though. Yeah, and the large living room with huge windows out to the yard. And the fireplace is double sided, correct? Yes, it is. Yeah. With and it dining. works, right? Yes. <laughs> Spare <Right>. question. <laughs> right. Then heading into the dining room with additional built ins. You ask all the other technicians. <laughs> I just look at the pretty stuff. <laughs> is that that bench is built in? What was that? Is that bench built in? Yes, the bench is built in. Okay. It's pretty. It's a pretty header on top. And all the recessed lighting there too. Yeah, just quite nice. Huh. All right, and that'll be the way down to the basement. Then we can take a peek at the kitchen before we go down there. Again, totally updated kitchen, a nice new windows. Plant. And appliances are included? Yes, they are. Okay. When did you guys redo the kitchen? Um, the kitchen was done about a year ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, so quite recently. All right, and there's some pantries with the pullouts. All of the doors and drawers throughout the whole house, everything's soft close. Awesome. Very mm -hmm. nice. We got spoiled that within our house right now. <laughs> Traditional story. Oh, that's cool. And was that a, a wine cooler there to the right of that pantry? Yes. Yeah. Very nice. And is it a, yeah, there we go. Perfect. Another pantry there on the other side. So lots of storage. That would be awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looks <we> lovely. <laughs> Good lighting also with the recessed lighting in the kitchen. And lots of updates with that. Super. All right, so then we can head four there towards, I think that's the basement. Yep. And you can show also the door. Yeah, we can pop in that room first on the right. Here's the uh, bathroom here. Yeah. Yep. Is it baseboard he heating throughout the house? It is. Okay. As I say, I just saw it in parts of it. I just couldn't tell. Sorry, what was that? Can we take a peek to the right in the garage? Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. There we go. So extra door there. So that shows you the size of the garage. The mm -hmm. extra space there on the left. Nice big window for lighting. Cool. Awesome. Okay, perfect. Now we can head in the basement. All right, so nicely finished again with the newer floors. Big open room with some windows for light. It's quite bright. We've got another fireplace. This, this home is not short on fireplace. Very cozy. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Great job. Yeah, showing around. It's a nice walkout basement again. Which again is great if you ever wanted to close up one of these, this space that could be used as an additional bedrooms because those are large yeah. windows. Having that kind of set up for a home gym is pretty fantastic nowadays that <laughs> no one can go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> great, and then maybe we'll take a peek outside from that back patio at the very end if that's okay with you. Sure. into that room. And 
And this is a queen bed or double? Double. This is a queen size bed in here. Queen size bed. Okay. Yeah, very spacious. Fantastic, and we can go right into the ensuite. Okay, put the full shower tub as well. Like if you have guests staying down here, they may not want to leave ever. <laughs> Pretty sweet setup. <laughs> nice extra space. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. And then I think it, we passed the utility room. Is that possible right there at the door? Right when yep. we walk down? So, yeah, so we can take a peek at that for the unfinished stuff. Okay. And can you give us some markers on the property line and where it begins and ends, so to speak, so our viewers have a chance to tell? Are you able to see the fire hydrant right off? Um, okay. I cannot. Well, we can go with that large pine tree right there. Mm -hmm. That okay. is side of the property line on that side. Up to the right, that tree line is the property mm -hmm. line on that side. And then it runs all the way back to the back of the woods there. It's about maybe 20 feet short. Gotcha. And from this angle, it looks fairly level in terms of play space? Yeah, oh, yeah, there's tons of usable yard area. You can actually, I've mowed all the way back and almost doubled the size of the backyard oh, wow. until I got the mowing. <laughs> so yeah, there's, there's a ton of usable area out there if you want a large yard. Or and, then we, more. and then we didn't see it earlier, but off of the dining room is where it connects to the deck. And then there are steps that go down into the yard, correct? Yep. Yeah, and I can I can show that as I head back that way. Perfect. How much noise do you get from the um, buildings back there? Um, you really actually don't notice anything from the buildings. It's, I wondered if there's enough. Seems like there's enough tree line where you don't probably notice a lot. Yeah, and what I'm not sure what they do, but none of the factories seem to do anything that creates a lot of noise. So okay. That has never been a, an issue for us. Sounds good. Thanks. That's a cool little space. Isn't it? Yeah. Wonderful. So yeah, there's extra storage here and the washer and dryer. And again, you guys have wonderful space for storage, a nice folding section for all your clothes. And then into a utility room with, again, lots of shelving. We did just have the whole boiler last winter, too. Okay. So, Say that again. The boiler was this last year. We replaced um, the expansion tank plus well, all this stuff up here is all new. And they went through the entire boiler. So it's all updated and fixed on that. And the water heater looked fairly new as well. All the mechanics and good utility. Yep. Yeah, the water heater is about five years old. This room over here. This is like an old that's underneath the scoop. We don't really use this much, but that is what's in there. Do you want me to open that door? Or? Sure. That's where we can take a peek. Probably kind of dark. Yeah. Let me turn on a flashlight here. <laughs> you can sort of see it. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So. It's just like what they would use for an old canning room. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Turn, turn, turn. Get tied out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. And then maybe we'll take a peek at um, the patio from the top. Sure. And that's where we can see the view.
and no need to step out if you're, I mean, it looks quite wet, <laughs> but as we can get a sense. That's nice, looks like it's a good size deck. Yeah, it's quite large. Wonderful. All right, so Whitney and Joyce, any rooms you'd like to see again or questions you may have? What, what I'll let my husband ask yeah. the, uh, the technical <laughs> questions. <laughs> what uh, what's included in the one year home warranty? Mechanical or? Yeah, so the one year warranty uh, is a true America's Home Preferred. It covers electrical, plumbing, mechanical, roof. Uh, there's quite a bit of coverage, and it comes with a deductible that you would pay. But one of the benefits of that specific company is you can choose your own contractor. You don't have to go through their own list and then right. they, they'll pay them directly. Okay. Yep. Julie, what was the name of the company you guys use? It's America's Home Preferred Warranty. Okay. Yep. That's why. Okay. Yeah. What about the roof? What, how old is the roof? Did you want to take that one? Yeah. So the roof is probably the oldest thing on the house. Um, that is probably about 15 to 20 years old. It's one of the only things I didn't get to redoing while we've been living here. Okay. Do you know if the, I guess the wood underneath the shingles is, do you know if it's like still the original wood or if that has been replaced at all? Um, it's mostly original. I know that there were some areas that were repaired before I bought the house that so you can see in the garage. Um, all of the decking is solid on it, though. There doesn't seem to be any soft spots. Okay. Um, we haven't had any leaks while we've lived here. We've been here right around five years, a little over five years. Okay. okay. Do you there... know if it's single? Is it single, or one layer, or multiples? Do you know? It, on the roof? It is regular composite shingles, and there's one layer. One layer, okay. Do you know what type of insulation is in the attic? Is it blown or rolled? It's a uh, bat insulation. It's fiberglass. Okay. And then electrical updates. How much of the electrical has been updated in the house? Um, a good portion of it has. Some of it is original wiring. Um, the panel is a little bit older. Um, a lot of the wiring in the house has been gone through, though. When you say original, do you mean knob and tube right, wiring? No, it is not knob and tube. It is, it's Romex wire. Okay, perfect. As I say, the house isn't that old. Yeah. We live in a 1920s house, so it's old. <laughs> Ours is uh, yeah. <laughs> It's newer than that. Um, are, there, are there gutters on, on the house? There's not gutters. No gutters? Okay. No water in the basement? No. Nope. No issue with water in the basement? No. Can send Joyce uh, the seller disclosure. She probably has access to it through MLS, and she can share that with you guys about some other more specific. Yeah. 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 I'll mail you. I'll email you that along with the home warranty packet. Okay. Oh, that's fine. No, I think the tour was great. I think that's good for me for technical questions. Awesome. Well, obviously, reach out to Joyce at any time, and she can reach out to us and our team, and we can see if, if you have other questions or if you'd like to see it again. I'm recording this um, so we can put it live and um, folks can take a peek at it if you'd like to see it again. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you. We appreciate it. Of course. Awesome.